Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be solving this problem from John Calda's kinematics handout. So, so guys, like take four to five minutes, try this problem out for yourself and then come back for the solution. So let's read the problem. So an ant is moving along a rubber band at a velocity of one centimeters per second. One end of the rubber band, the one from which the ant started is fixed to a wall. The other initially at distance L equals one from the wall is pulled at U equal to one meter per second. Will the ant reach the other end of the band? If yes, then when will it happen? So let's say this is the fixed end and initially this was one meter, but this, this end of the string is being pulled towards the right with a velocity of one meter per second. And an ant is starting from this end. So there are two ways of going about this problem. So first we'll start with method number one. So what we are going to do is let's say at gen some general time t, let's say the and was at a distance x from uh, the left f from this uh, fixed end. And let's say after a time dt, it cross, it moves an amount of dx. Now we can write dx is the velocity of and, velocity of and dt. We can write this. Now the velocity of and the velocity with which the ant walks on the string is one centimeters per second. But the string itself is moving towards the right with some velocity v star, let's say. We have to determine that. So how do we determine that? So we know this fixed end. So we know the rightmost end is pulled towards the right with a velocity of one centimeter per second and this end is at rest. So the distribution, if we assume it is linear, then at a distance x, we can find the velocity from this similar triangle. So let's say this end of the string is moving towards the right with a velocity of v star. Then by using similar triangle, v star divided by one meter per second, this is meters per second, equals x divided by l, where l is this length. So from here, we'll get the value of v star to be x by l meters per second. Let's say this is the and. It moves towards the right with a velocity of one centimeters per second, but the string itself is moving towards the right with a velocity of x by l meters per second. So dx by dt, so the velocity of and relative to ground will be one plus x by l, okay? So now we can write dx equal to one plus x by l dt. So now we have a few problems here. L itself is variable right because the length is increasing but that is pretty easy to figure out because dl by dt is simply one meter per second right the rate at which this length is increasing is simply one meter per second so now we can just simply integrate uh, on both sides so at t equal to zero the length was given to be one meter and we need the length as a function of time so it comes out to be one plus t meters okay so now if we substitute it here we can see dx by dt to be equal to one plus x divided by one plus t. Now this becomes a linear differential equation. So if we rearrange it, this is a linear differential equation. So in order to solve it, we have to find the integrating factor, which is e to the power, the coefficient of this term dt, that is going to be minus one upon one plus x dt. So this comes out to be, sorry, this would be t and so this would become one upon one plus t after integration. So solving this, x times the integrating factor would be equal to the integral of the integrating factor multiplied by, um, okay, this velocity here, it is one divided by 100, by the way, because it, this was one centimeters per second, right? So, so we have to change that. This would be one by 100, okay? So one by 100 multiplied by, dt. So now if we integrate it, so from here we have x as a function of time. So now we have found out x as a function of time. So now at t equal to zero, x was at zero, right? The and was at zero. So using that information, we'll get, uh, we'll get c to be zero. Okay. Now we have to find uh, that time at which the and reaches the other side, which means the value of x will be equal to the l at that time. 
So L itself is one plus T, right? So let's say at the time when the ant reaches the other side, that time, let's just specify it as T star. So now if you substitute this X into this equation, we'll get, okay. Now on solving this, we'll get the value of T star to be equal to E to the power 100 minus one seconds, which is a finite value and hence the AND will reach the other side. So that was the answer to this problem, but the second method is uh, much more easier than the first method. So now let's move on to the method two, which is much more simpler. Let's say after some time, the AND is somewhere over here, let's say. So the fraction of length covered by this AND is let's say K. All right, so if this length is let's say X and the total length at this time was L, then we can say X by L is the K at this situation, okay? So now let's say it, after some DT time, this AND, which was initially here, it covers another DK fraction towards the right. So now what is this uh, DK length going to be? So let's say after it covers, okay, it is the extra distance DS that the AND covered on the rubber band, that DS divided by the total length L at that time. This is going to be the DK fraction. This is going to be DK. Now DS is simply going to be the velocity of, uh, the relative velocity of the AND, which is given to be one centimeters per second times dt and the length of it was equal to one plus t. Now, as you can see, this become, this makes this problem so much more easier. So at t equal to zero, the fraction was zero and at t equal to the time was t star. Uh, at that point, the fraction was, fraction will be one. So the left side would become one and the right side is going to be one by 100 times ln of one plus t star. So from here, we'll get the answer much more faster. So from here, T star comes out to be e to the power 100 minus one, exactly like the last part. So that was it for this problem, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.